The Arctic is a key focus point for UNESCO, and highlighting World Heritage Sites here helps raise awareness of major threats like global warming. Ilulisat, in Greenland, for example, draws tourists to see a phenomenon called calving, where masses of ice break off from the glacier. But Ilulisat is losing up to 15 meters of ice each year, and the culprit is climate change. In the case of Ilulisat, um, the glacier goes further away, so the visitors were not able to see the calving from the platform anymore. So the issue is we cannot allow the visitors to just walk all over or go by boat all over the site. It's carefully managed where they can go and there have been pathways constructed so not to damage the World Heritage Site. Global warming not only threatens tourism, of course. Melting ice could have devastating consequences by flooding our coastal areas. It also destroys the habitat of rare wildlife species. This could be a big issue at Wrangell Island. This Russian property boasts the greatest level of biodiversity in the high Arctic. For UNESCO, the Arctic is very important for a number of reasons because it's uh, a laboratory of the uh, effects of climate change. We can monitor the sites and we can predict effects uh, in the near future. And so we have to work with the different actors in the Arctic. It's not only the state parties, but it's also indigenous people, it's site managers, and we have to help them to address issues of climate change as a matter of urgency.